Yeah, John Murray and myself used to use this top section as our training ground, best kept secret ever. And then uh, Dale Tomlinson said the one day, come on, let's do a race here. Obviously, that was the beginning in 1994. I took him down the river in 1993. You know, since then it's just grown. I think we started with about 300 boats and now I think we're into the thousands here now. Round Table's been involved from the beginning with a track. Uh, most of the main events in Underberg are run in conjunction with Round Table. Uh, we run most of the food and the and the, obviously the bar facilities. Profits go towards the school, Underberg School. We donate them computers, uh, other learning equipment, sports equipment, etc. We've got eight K and two guys that are on um, certain rapids through the gorge and things like that. And then um, also we've got uh, local farmers which help out at um, the couple of the weirs and things like that. Generally, when it's a low, low river level, it, it does make it easier. Um, not very nice for the paddlers, but it, yeah, it does make safety quite, quite a lot easier, yeah. In Underberg, we've got the, the Sani search and rescue volunteers that help. There's quite a few guys in the area that, are, that have become members of that, that help at Glenhaven and things like that. So yeah, um, generally we've got everything covered, which is nice for the paddlers. This event enjoys great support from our community. Um, our marshalling club gets involved with the marshalling. Farmers open their lands up to the public. Schools get involved. As a whole, our community rallies together. The support that the Jack Challenge brings to them is um, very, very valuable and greatly appreciated by organizations in this area.